Hello and welcome to another edition of the Reserve Report, your source for what's going on locally and around the Reserve. I'm your host, Corporal Michael Ito. As of July 1st, Expeditionary Warfare School is changing the way it educates our Corps' officers. Marines will now attend one year of independent study and one year of seminar, as opposed to two years of either. Marines enrolled in EWS before July 1st will have until next July to complete the program or be automatically enrolled in the new format. For more information, see MAR Admin 5813. MAR 4 Res Marines are taking a big part in Exercise Dawn Blitz at Camp Pendleton, California, participating in urban combat training and amphibious assaults. Uh, these Marines come from all walks of life. You know, they, they have a career that puts food on the table for their families Monday through Friday, and then they give up their weekends to come in here and participate and be part of the Marine Corps. So uh, making sure that we're doing everything that we can to keep them focused and get them trained in the short time span that they have because they have the same training requirements that an active duty component Marine has. These Marines are going to go through boot camp, they'll go to their specialized schools, and they go back home. And their obligation to the Marine Corps is one week in a month and two weeks a year. So for them to step away from the career that puts food on their, on their tables for their families and give up their time to come and participate and make themselves better at their skill set in the Marine Corps, it just speaks leaps and bounds to the, to the type of quality of Marine that we have here in the unit. Now they have a, a very unique opportunity to come together as a battalion, to fight as a battalion, and to work their defensive skills and fight against a very ready, very trained, uh, active duty component infantry battalion in 2-5 with some of those coalition forces right alongside them. So it's absolutely awesome. You know, it's great training, it's extremely valuable, but there's always a human effect and there's always that, that extra reality that you add to it when you add another, another man that's coming towards you that's testing your line. If we're able to do that and outthink our enemy, then we'll seize the advantage and we'll be able to stop their advance, and, and that's exactly what we're looking for. The main thing that I, I hope they take away is just the, the experience they're, that they're gaining out here. Uh, you know, that gives the small unit leaders the opportunity to take their squads, uh, go integrate them with a the tank company, you know, see how tanks and infantry work. Uh, it takes, it gives them the opportunity to practice those basic small unit leader skills. Even though these Marines only get about 38 training days a year, the quality, the proficiency, and the tenacity of these infantry Marines uh, rivals any active duty infantry battalion that I've been part of. Camp Pendleton isn't the only place our Marines are honing their skills. Every major subordinate command is taking part in the integrated training exercise, formerly known as Javelin Thrust, at Marine Corps Air Ground Combat Center 29 Palms. The MAGTAP aid station is essentially attached to the regiment and we support the BASs that are out there supporting the battalions. We are still level one treatment here at the battalion or the MAGTAF aid station, but if the BASs have something that's a little bit more involved with the level one, then they would send them to us such as heat casualties that need more monitoring, somebody, somebody that needs observation, and uh, we are able to uh, treat them here further in the rear and also decide whether they need to go on to transport to the hospital for further treatment or they can be returned to duty. The BASs are more peripheral and they try to see the patient in a short duration of time, either return them or send them back to us for further care or they could also send them to the emergency department. This aid station is, is a central medical for the regiment uh, supporting the, the uh, BSs on the outside. We we'll provide basically the, the central medical care for the regiment. We're, we're supporting the exercise medically real time. So it's real patients. It's not uh, a training exercise. We're taking care of real casualties. And at the same time, we have to balance and we do uh, as much training as we can for all the Marines, all the corpsmen, so they can stay proficient uh, when they go out uh, for real missions. 
ITX is the largest annual Marine Forces Reserve training exercise and a cornerstone of the Marine Air Ground Task Force training program. More than 5,000 Marines took part in this year's exercise. That about does it for this edition of the Reserve Report. As always, for more news, photos, and videos, check out our website at www.marvores.marines.mil. I'm Corporal Michael Lito. Thanks for watching.